Welcome everybody to yet another edition of Yamoto E, a place where plant lovers can go to talk about plants, to be around plants, to hear about new plants, to appreciate nature. Today I have with me a new plant. It's called the Emerald Ripper Pepper. The Emerald Ripper Pepper. It is an exotic plant found in the rainforest of Brazil. I want to show you real quick, just a quick identification. The leaves of this are like a sharpened oval. They have a waxy green on the top and then a deep maroon on the bottom with these little tiny shooty out things that are a light green. All in all, it makes for a very nice exotic addition to any plant lover's collection. I picked this one up from a local nursery. Again, I've mentioned it before, it's called Paloma's Plants. Spent a lot of time looking this one up. It's not the easiest one to find information on. I will tell you that the scientific name, now bear with me, is Pepperonia Caparata. Pepperonia Caparata. Scientific name. The leaves can be identified like I said, well, like I already told you, it is a native plant of Brazil. And with this plant, it grows below the canopy of all of the big trees found in a rainforest. So it simply requires a full shade given one or two hours of sunlight. Of course, if you keep it inside, that's different. You keep it, oh, two feet away from the window with indirect sunlight. You can put a, you know, a plant light over it if you like. You don't have to. Now, with this, as I've explained to you before, a plant will grow to fit its pot. This plant in particular, if it were in the ground, it would naturally grow to about eight feet high as well as eight feet in diameter. So this one being in simply, I'm thinking a five inch pot round and then seven, maybe eight inches going vertically. As far as when you choose to water this, it's about every 10 days. Again, you know, give or take a day, it's not going to get mad at you if you leave it alone for a couple of days. This plant, the Emerald Ripple, the Emerald Ripple Pepper, that's what it's called. Mm, let's see. Like I said, it does need full shade because it's grown below underneath the huge canopy of the trees in the rainforest because it's from Brazil. Let's see. And that's about all the information that I have gathered for the Master Gardener's identification.
What I love about this plant is the pot. I love the pot. It's a clay pot and it, as you can see, maybe it's got the crackleature look to it, but it's a coffee cup. It's a coffee cup. How great is that? I love coffee. It's only appropriate that this plant is in a coffee cup, I think. No drainage holes. I know I talked to you just the other day, the other segment about how important drainage holes are. However, for me, plants and their pots go hand in hand. The pots represent the plants that they hold and I'm also a sucker for buying pots for my plants. Um, not only are my plants generally hard to find, I like to buy pots with that in mind. Not only, I don't always buy the plants before the pots, I'm kind of a sucker for buying pots all the time. But, you know, whatever works. Whatever works. Gardening and horticulture and botany and all of those related things, you can always take liberties with them. And I choose to take liberty with the drainage holes because I'm after the pots. So that is the Emerald Ripple Pepper. It's got the nice waxy oval leaves and these little tendril shoots. I really, really like them. They make the plant a little bit more exotic. Thank you for watching. I know you're enjoying these videos. I can tell just by the comments you leave, the likes you have added to the post, and just talking with you. That's great. Ask me any question about plants. If I don't have the answer, I will find the answer because your questions are very important to me. I value them. They give me a chance to grow. They give you a chance to grow. Thanks again for watching Yamoto E. There's always more to come.